butt loving. Funky butt loving. Funky. Did you say funky butt loving? In a world where laughter was king on the edge of space. Ludicrous speed! Go! To get together, have a few laughs. Masters of the universe! In this city, you must fight to survive. It's not not in a city. Not in a city. <laughs> but you still have to survive. It's a love story. It's a love story between one man and one city. It's actually two women. Two women <laughs> in one city. It's in the suburbs. Like They lived in the suburbs. <laughs> and the mob wanted in. It was no mob. I don't know who these ladies are, but I want in. <clears throat> Capiche. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Was that your was that was that just your standard boiler template? Mob guy, or was that like a De Niro? What was that? That uh, it was just kind of there. I, it, I, but the regist- it was a Pesci like. It's a little bit. Quality. It's a little bit of that. You know, no, it's, no, it's Testaverde like. It's, t- it's a little Testaverde. <laughs> it's a little Testaverde. <laughs> you know, huh? Huh? That's what he calls his penis. I guess. <clears throat> I yes. No, it's gonna. It's gotta have like a me kind of nickname. You know. You know, I, I, it, I can't imagine it would be anything else. Uh, kind of like that. Uh, what was the kid's name? Salami Sam from uh, Heavyweights. He died last year. That's that's a bummer. He's he dead. Did, he didn't go by the way of uh, <clears throat> suicide, did he? Like I don't think chance? not. Like Jenna the Brandis. <laughs> <laughs> Good because that's not anything we condone. You know, that's if there's right. ever anybody in the Jonathan Brandis camp, which I don't know how many people are in that camp, but like anybody that's really close to the Brandis family, that's stum- not like- stumbles upon this podcast. There's gonna be wildly offended. Like they brought him up again. I'm so sorry. Over and over and over. We've tried to put this behind us. And these nope. these two fools, these no. foolish individuals. Hey, at least he's coming up in some, <clears throat> some way. He, we're form keeping him fashion. relevant. We are we're keeping him he's relevant. He's trending on our podcast. Not on Twitter. <laughs> if we could get Hashtag don't do it. Hashtag don't do it. <laughs> hashtag Jonathan Brandis. <laughs> <clears throat> That's right. They gotta go together. Or people won't like the like, people at do, Nike will be very like. Don't do what? Yes, yes, you should. Don't let Malaysian children build uh, <laughs> shoes for twenty cents an hour. Oh, that was almost political. <laughs> I stole that from David Spade. Lights almost, David almost Spade. political. Yes. I, is it? <clears throat> I have, I have yet I, to watch I, that. I I don't have cable, so I don't watch it. But I watch all the clips on Facebook, mm. and it's mm. I've I'm I'm quite uh, satisfied with what I've seen thus far. I like David Spade. And one of Farley's brothers, the uh, tall, tall or thin one, I forget which one. The non-Chris <clears throat> version. Yes. <laughs> I think Kevin is the one that it look it was. He's the portly one. So is he I, the one that uh, Dave? wrote wrote the book about Chris Farley? Maybe? I think he might have been growing up Farley or something. Like he's that. he's on the show. He has kind of a character. He wears cutoffs. He's he's supposed to be like a stagehand, but he's beep, 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 beep. He's, he's really. Not a great stagehand. Let's call Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Let's see what Jerry has to say, because, you know, we got the best of 2019 coming up soon. That's true. Uh, and I, I'm just curious if if, if he has uh, any opinions on what, I'm sure he probably what does. his uh, favorite uh, movies are. Hello, this is uh, this is Jerry Testaverde. Jerry, hey. Hey, it's Ron Davis, Cinemasters. How you doing, buddy? Uh, fan, fantastic. I'm Great. absolutely fantastic. Good, good, good to hear it. Good to hear it. You know, Adam was just doing an impression of you. Was he? Yes, he was. He I'll was. expect a royalty check in the mail. <laughs> I know, know it's not much, but it makes my day. We were just curious. What do you call you? Do you have a nickname for your penis? Uh, I, not that I'm willing to say on air. <laughs> not in mixed company. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> I have standards. Not, not, not there in the deli, right? Not, no. There's, not the delicatessen. We got a line out the door. And uh, frankly, I just don't, I, no, no. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <clears throat> no, I was just curious. Uh, since since Adam and I are doing the best of 2019, we just want to. Nice, eat, nice. I, I know you're a big movie fan. Ah, uh, yeah, have, have I? Uh, Sandy Bullock, big fan, <laughs> big fan of hers. I don't know if I've ever brought that up or not. No, no, no I, I, I'm, that's shocking to me. I had no idea that you were such a. Big Who fan. if by C? I watched it the other day. Have you ever seen that Sandy Bullock? No, and, uh, I, th- I haven't. Thank and you. Uh, Dennis Leary. You know, I like I like that Dennis Leary. He's, I uh, expect better from him. He, he's a good kid. He's from Boston, so you know, I, uh, 
Yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, well, you What know. are you going to do? He's not a New Yorker. So. No, no. And to the best of my knowledge, he has no uh, background in delicatessen work. So, <laughs> strike two, as I like to say. But he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. And he was in the movie. And a great Sandy. set of hair, that kid. Yes, yes. But, yeah, so I'm just curious. Did you have a, a top pick for 2019 that you'd like to share with us? Uh, let's, let's see. Uh, there, there was a movie with uh, Sandy Bullock and uh, Tom Hanks' kid. Uh, she they're working on the computers. It wasn't the net. I saw the net. It's not the <laughs> oh, net. So are you thinking of the net? Did that come out in 2019? No, no, it's a different one. It's oh. a different one. Oh. There's, they're trying to catch this bad guy, and he's on the computers. So she does have a movie that was. Re- she did have. A I movie don't know released. if it was released this year. <laughs> Frankly, I found it on VHS, so I feel like the oh, answer is v- no. Okay, definitely, probably I not like a release. No. I got it ready. It's called Untraceable. You ever seen Untraceable? Do you have any movies from 2019 you'd like to <clears throat> t- to mention, maybe? Um, uh, was was Sandy in <laughs> any movies? In I'm not sure if she qualified necessarily, but uh, do you watch any other movies that you know of that for sure came out of? Did you see The Joker? The Joker? Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> I did not see that. Is it a good one? Uh, it was excellent. It, it was really good. What's it about? Some guy telling jokes. Mr. Well, comedian? Yeah, well, <clears throat> not not a, well kind of sort of, but you know, right, you know right. Batman, right? You've heard of Batman? Batman. Uh I think so. I think so. Well, you know, he's the villain from Batman. Okay. And, yeah, All right. it, was, it was it was really good. Oh, forget about it. Forget about it. It didn't have forget Sandy it. in it. Right. It didn't oh, have Sandy yeah, in it. Yeah, it's uh, it's got to be a prerequisite. Sandy should be in it. <laughs> <clears throat> well, maybe 2020 will, 2020. will be a more fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm thanks, Jerry. Right now, like thanks, crossed. Jerry. You have a good one, buddy. You too. You too. <laughs> that Jerry. I love that guy. He's, he's a hell of a guy. No Sandy Bullock. <clears throat> no Sandy Bullock. He doesn't. He doesn't. You know. He doesn't mess around. You know. Well, he Sandy did have that movie last year that came out, the Netflix movie. Uh, the Bird Box. The Bird Box. Yeah, <laughs> haven't seen it. Neither did she. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of a joke <laughs> she, on the plot of the she movie. She wasn't aware. Oh, that's <clears throat> true. She was blind. She, the, she was blind. She was blind. Co- everyone covered their eyes. <laughs> Not a great movie. I should have covered mine. Okay, you know what, Adam? Yes, I do we, know what. We, we, what, what, what? What? We, we did not. Oh, I, I've missed out there. What? Yes. What? Yes. yes it's true. That's right, my my friend Little John. Small John. Oh little John. I'm little sorry. John. Small. No, uh we, we did we f- we we erred. We did not mention in our last episode uh what our coming attraction was going to be we or didn't tease our them. mini episode that we we've didn't teased them. We didn't tease. Dang we're, it. we're not good teasers on this oh, podcast just yet. It's the worst. We're still getting the hang of things. I'm it's still learning horrible. the names of our uh segments, of the segments you've yeah, come up with. My illegitimate children. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, but but we did come up with uh, us. We did come up with a coming attractions. I'm yes, see, I'm getting there. Yes, you're there. We came up with a coming attractions, and uh, we decided to do trivia junket. Yes, we did. Which is always actually, you know, like that. We've done it twice now. We have, and I've had just a phenomenal time both times. It's, it's been a good time. I love doing the trivia junket. Uh, we get a chance to test each other's knowledge of movies and or other miscellaneous inane things that <laughs> has something to do with movies. Anything whirling around. Anything goes with trivia whirling junket. Whirling dervishes. Uh huh. And uh, it, in this in this case, we decided to we're going to bring it back for a third round. Round three fight. fight. All right, and, and we were in sync on that one. We that was were. great. Oh, that was excellent. God, I think we just cut it, oh. cut, cut, post. Good night. <laughs> Get it out there on the YouTubes. The YouTubes. Mm. Oh yeah, you know, like check us out on the YouTubes. Yes. We, we we do have a YouTube channel. I, I do a very horrible job. I do a poor job promoting like where we even are. We're around. We're just floating around on the interwebs. But we're you, available everywhere except Phoenix. I I think it's the temperature. Other areas in Arizona, we got you covered. Yeah, Tucson, we're there. There's like a dome over Phoenix that we can't penetrate. No, impenetrable (laughs) dome around Phoenix. (laughs) Sorry, Phoenix. Sorry. Maybe not. You know, see about getting that dome taken down. 2020 could be your year, Phoenix. Domeless Phoenix. Hashtag domeless Phoenix. Uh, no, but uh, you know, the, you, we're one and one, right? We are. You've won a round of trivia junket. Yep. I have won a round of trivia junket, and I know you're probably jumping at the bit because you you had a pretty lackluster performance in your last go. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was good, and it was good, and I, and I didn't make it easy. I did. It, I did it for the entertainment. You did it for like, the entertainment. Right, oh, okay, this right, one's right. For the, this one's for the fans. But 
But for the trivia junket, as you may or may not know, for those who are not initiated to our podcast, uh, what we newbies, what we like to do is we like to spring it as a surprise what the topic's going to be. But on top of, but we we kind of we decided we wanted to make it 2019 movie related somehow. Yes. And I took that idea and I really I stretched that to the farthest. That like I it's kind own, of worries it's me. so it's so just vaguely related to 2019. Oh, good. good. That makes me feel comfortable. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, Adam, it's going to be 2019 related, but I've kind of I've, I've I've taken it a step further and it's it's like you know, it, it, there's a there's another sub. There's like, a nuance to yeah, it. Yeah, there's a big old fat nuance to this. And I, I, I'm excited to jump in and, and actually get you to try and guess. I want to see. I, I predict. Now, let me let me get my stuff I'll up just here. Do God bless it. Horribly. You know what? You know what? <clears throat> this is terrible. Why? Why did I do it this way? I don't know. If why. anyone is still questioning whether or not or why <sighs> why it is that I have esteem issues, <laughs> you're about to witness exactly why. Oh no! I don't know why I did this this way. This is this is going to be tricky, guys. Tricky. All right, hang on. Like let that me, song, like like the Run DMC song. Like that Run DMC song. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm 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 changing things up. On oh the fly. my goodness! I'm changing things up on the fly. Calling people. an audible. Is Calling what they, an audible because I'm gonna have sports. to do this. I'm gonna have to use two separate electronic oh, two devices, devices to make this work. Oh my gosh! Because I love you all. That's how many devices? Two devices. Okay. A lot okay. of other podcasts will use a device. A lot of places will just give you one device. One device. We're going two devices. We're doing two devices. Okay. Okay. All right. So, are you ready for the topic? <laughs> or do, just, do you yeah. want to go first? Do you no, want let's, to go? I, I don't want to hold you back. Okay. All right. I, I I, I'm just kind of. I'm like. I'm just charging. You're in. ready to go. I'm, okay. So this is this is trivia junket. Uh, 2019 movies released in 2019 edition. But here's the here's the curveball I'm throwing here's the in. Twist. Here's the nuance. Uh, what was the highest grossing film of 2019? I know you know this. Oh, End Endgame, Avengers Endgame. Yeah. Okay. So this is <clears throat> in honor of that feat of being the not only 2019's highest grossing film, but of all time. This topic is all Avengers re- related. <laughs> Every question is Avenger related. Okay. So you'll and you'll you'll get so, the hang of it. You'll okay. you'll see how this is gonna go. <laughs> Hopefully this is not just immediately destroy all credibility I have. <laughs> and I'm putting this together and I'm like, is this too mean? I don't care. Because like, <clears throat> Adam is a really bright guy. Yeah, that's what it he seems knows like. a lot he knows a lot of stuff. He he constantly I have a lot of time wows to myself. me. I'm amazed at how much this guy knows. He remembers everything. So I'm really gonna put that to the test. Oh, I can't good. just go lobbing softballs good. up at this guy. He's gonna throw some softballs at me because he knows if he doesn't, you know, he, he's gonna put it up on a tee and I'm gonna swing it. <laughs> yes. But for Adam, I gotta throw I gotta throw fast pitch. Okay. I I, I did I, just as a for, fair warning. <laughs> some of some of mine are I mean I made the, the, the whole idea of mine yeah. palatable. Yeah. And some of them will be more difficult than others. Oh, okay. I just want to throw that out okay. All right. Well, fair game. <clears throat> fair game. This is the advanced edition oh, it could be. Question number one. Oh, great. This is Avengers related. 2019 highest I'm, grossing film. I'm not afraid of faking a stroke to get out of this. Question number one. One. Iron Man. Okay. Robert Downey Jr. spent one season on SNL. What year was it? <laughs> Multiple choice. Okay. Was it A, 1985? B, 1986? C, 1987? Or D, 1988? <laughs> well, I was like, all right. It, well, I know it was in the 80s. I had that working for me yeah, until yeah. all of the choices well, are, I mean, in all the of 80s. are in the 80s. <laughs> so that eliminates <laughs> none of them. Mm-hmm. Oh. I mean, I wasn't going to give you a freebie in there. I could have said 1990. But I'm not gonna do that. Well, uh, let me think. Okay. So work it out. My 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 knee jerk reaction is 85. Okay. Um, just because a lot of people don't remember that for a couple years in the middle of the 80s, like the the beginning of the 80s, you had the original cast tapering yes. off. They were tapering down. And yep. the end of the 80s, you still had you had like Billy Crystal, Christopher Guest, um, Julie Louis Dreyfus. Martin Short. I mean, you had some big names going into like the 
the early 90s guys, the Mike Myers, Phil Hartman. So you had the end of the 80s was still pretty good, but the middle of the 80s was not great. They were uh, soft. Yeah, they were. I think Dana DeVito was in the cast. Gilbert Gottfried, I want to say, <laughs> was for like a, a season. A who's who of 80s not. stars were actually, every, you were actually a cast I was, member. I was, I, was, I was in the cast member. <laughs> I was only, you were born and immediately was, a cast yeah, member. Was, this kid's going to be something. <laughs> Put him in the cast. <laughs> oh. Babies are huge. 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 Um, I, I have I have no, I mean, 85, 86, that's the only, I'm bouncing between the two of those just because. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, those are no, those are actually are two of the choices. Those are two of the choices. You know, <laughs> luckily, it'd be great if you're like 85, 97, you. <laughs> 2004, and yesterday. Like, oh, okay, well then I, I think I know it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go 1985, just because. Just okay. I'm gonna do it. You got it. 1985. Yes. Yeah. So like that was that was like in that period of time when like Eddie Murphy like was I think he. He was carrying things, you know. It was like Eddie Murphy and like nobody. Yeah, because Eddie was not a part of the initial cast. He joined a no. little bit later, and he was yeah. on for several years. Right, right, right. So that's great. You're one for one. Ooh. You're one for one. And I maintain some SNL credibility too. So I got some. That's Marvel. a twofer. That's what you call Ooh. a twofer, right there. That is a twofer. Okay, great start. You ready for question number two? Question two. All right, let's do this. Let's go, Hulk. Okay. Which one of these movies did Mark Ruffalo? Not appear in. Okay. So which one of these didn't he not appear in? All right. The best Hulk. Oh yes. The better of all the Hulks. Thirteen going on thirty is a. B. Eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. C. Truman Show. Or D. Shutter Island. This this one I, I actually feel. <laughs> I'm, I'm more confident. In this You're pretty one. confident. Okay. All right. Which 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 is it? Um, and even just saying that right off the bat, if I'm wrong, is just going to make me look like a huge <laughs> dude. <laughs> Can I get the jackass sound effect ready to it's go? Like, oh. <laughs> well, I know I know he was in 13 going. You're on calling 30. your shot right now, basically. I kind of am. I know he yeah. was in 13 going on 30 because yep, they okay. they have the uh, fantastic uh, thriller dance. Oh, I love that scene. And I know he was in Shutter Island. I was Jennifer Garner's crowning moment of that the was, cinema. Right that was there. pretty wonderful. I loved it, and it went on forever. It was. It was. I mean, honestly, I think that's that's an underrated movie in a lot of senses. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, Shutter Island. He was Leo DiCaprio's partner throughout all of it. Yeah, yeah. That was kind of the gimme. Figured you'd remember that. Um, and then the other two choices were Truman Show, and what was the other one? Uh, it's Eternal Sunshine, Eternal Sunshine. of the Spotless Mind. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, and I, I, I think, I mean, I guess I should qualify. I don't definitively know this, but I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not walking it back. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm yeah, sticking yeah. with my same choice. Right. Right. Um, I think Truman show is a little bit before he was like, if he's in the Truman show, I'm going to be ticked because it's probably like he was, he was the guy at the snack stand. You never know, man. You never um, know. But it has been, I think I've only watched Eternal Sunshine twice. I saw yeah. it in theaters. And I, I it's had, a good movie. It's a good movie. It's yeah. one of those, it's one of those weird movies and Ruffalo likes to do weird movies. <clears throat> he does, he'll do more mainstream stuff, but he loves to do weird indie I films. I like the movie where he was the wrestling brother. Yes. Foxtrot or something? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, Fox something. Foxcatcher. Foxcatcher. There you go. So I'm thinking go- of the comic strip. <laughs> I, I'm, Foxtrot's a good comic strip. It's not bad. I will, I'll, I'll echo Doesn't that. have anything to do with Mark Ruffalo, though, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go Truman Show. He was not in Truman Show. Two yes. for two, baby. Yeah, I think he was one of the technicians or that's, something. That's what I was Eternal thinking. Sunshine. It was like yeah. him and Elijah Wood. That might be the first time I remember seeing him in anything. Yeah, too. he was not big even when that was, but Truman mm-hmm. Show, I think, was like mid-90s, so that he would have been much younger. I was like, if he's in Truman Show, he would have been like guy. Pretty car- young, because that was 90. That was 98. Mag- yeah. Yeah, yeah was so like, that was a little bit later. You're doing great, man. You're you're two for two. You're you're doing great. Right, just this, eight this to one, go. Yeah, just eight to go. Let's see how you can let's see if you can go for ten for ten. Oh man. Okay. I, I feel I feel decently that you could do that. Okay. Number three, Thor. No, wait, I'm sorry, not Thor. Back that up. Captain America. Okay. Well, I was totally in Hemsworth mode. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just going to switch over Here, to Evans. I'll back up. Evans. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Evans, yes. Okay, name every movie in the MCU Chris Evans has appeared as Captain America in. Okay. 
this this could be tricky because you got like you know stingers and stuff at the end of movies too you got to think about I'm gonna let you know that some of those are out there oh crap mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm really testing your MCU love right here <laughs> Well, obviously he's in all three Cap movies. Correct. Yes. And he's in all three, four Avengers movies. Yes. Um, he, so that leaves one, two, no, one, two. I think just two. Like you got to think you're think you're missing two. One of them is Spider-Man: Homecoming. One left. One left. Um, I'm I'm curious if you're counting. Uh, the Incredible Hulk, where Captain America was buried in the ice in one scene. No, I'm not counting okay. that. I'm not counting that. But I'm gonna say I get extra credit for that one. Yes, yeah, well done. Yeah. Um, all right. So one other one. You got one. One more. Um, and this is a tricky one. <laughs> let me think here. Because I forgot about it. I totally forgot about it. And I even had to go to YouTube and look it up, make sure it's it was real. I'm guessing this one is like an end credits one, like an after, like a. It's not. Okay, so he's in the movie. He's in the movie. He's actually in the movie. Time's running out. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. You got like 20 seconds uh, to go. Uh, <laughs> not that we ever put a time limit on this me, ever. I'm trying to think. I'll just have to restart the question music if, if you need that time. Um, <laughs> so he's actually in the movie. Now, I'm, I'm trying yeah. to go through in my head. like. Yeah, he's in uh, the movie. I think he's actually uncredited, though, in IMDb, but he's for sure in the movie. I don't know why he would be uncredited. It doesn't make any sense. I don't really understand how that works. Uh, Maybe they didn't have to pay him or something? I don't know. Which one would he have been in? <laughs> There's so many MCU movies. <laughs> 23 of them and I've named 8 yeah and there's yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 choices I there's have one, one in 15 there's one sticking out I have like there's a one sticking out 19% or no 9% <laughs> chance oh, oh sorry. I ran out of music huh? you ran out of music but I just I just fired okay. it back up right. okay I um, fired it back up for you because I, I have a, you have a process I'm sure I'm trying to You're gonna you're gonna be taking a guess though. I have a feeling I, I, you're gonna end up that's, guessing. That's what I'm willing myself towards. I'm like, all right, I I can't go through all forty eight hours of the MCU in my head in eight Just seconds. Beat for beat on every movie. Um, I was like, all right, then Ant Man he gets the suit. Which you could. I'm sure you probably could. It is you know it wouldn't um, surprise me. Three and O's on the line here, man. Your perfect game. Uh, this is this perfect gonna, games in gonna, danger. It's gonna wreck it for me. It's gonna. I know perfect it is. It's games in danger. Wreck it for me. <laughs> <laughs> gonna wreck it. Oh, gonna wreck it. Wreck it, Ralph. Let's see, he's here. waiting for you. Um. All right. I, I, I need like. All right. So the, <laughs> I, 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 like go through him in my head. Like he's not in any of the Iron Man movies. I don't think he's in any of the Thor movies. So that takes those six off the table. So that leaves nine. So it's Guardians one, Guardians two. <laughs> Doctor Strange, Black uh-huh. Panther. Right, right, right. Um, what else? Ant Man, Ant Man and the Wasp. Gonna need an answer. Drum. Gonna need an answer. Uh, Black Panther. Son of a beasting. <laughs> Thor: The Dark World. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I dismissed the Thor. Uh, that's I think I've only watched that one like there, twice. There was a scene where uh, Thor and uh, Loki were having a conversation, and Loki was changing into a lot of the different Avengers. Uh, and he changes into Cap at one point. <laughs> I remember that now. <laughs> They're like in a hallway or something, walking along. Okay, all right. You're still you're two and one. There goes the perfect game. Perfect game is out. But let's see if you can At go. least it wasn't in the bottom of the ninth. Cause no, no, even... that would have been heartbreaking. Yeah, that, that would have been, been heartbreaking. I'd be like, oh, I'll just go kill myself real so quick. So you already know that. Don't do it. Thor Hashtag is number no. four. Yes. All right. Chris Hemsworth appeared in 192 episodes of this long-running Australian soap opera. It's multiple choice. Okay, I was going to say, <laughs> if you want me to just come up with an Australian soap opera... <laughs> I'm okay. like, oh, crikey's mate. <laughs> but I, I got to I got to, I got to make up three funny like okay. three of these are totally made up soaps. Ooh. Okay. Is it A too many cooks? <laughs> B, 
I feel like it's not B just because you're already <laughs> laughing at it. <laughs> Sorry. B, home and away. C, point place. Or D, everlasting endings. Those all sound like legitimate <laughs> soap operas. <laughs> <laughs> 192 episodes, man. That's not insignificant. I missed them. The, <laughs> that's the thing. I didn't happen to them yet. You should have them. I should have. Dang it. Only you known he would have been such such a big star one day. Oh, I, I was really hoping you were going to ask me what his film debut was because I could have done that one. What was it? Uh, star Trek. Oh, played. wow. Um, oh, was that his film debut? In the yep. in J- uh, JJ's Star Trek? Yep. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, no, I'm sorry, but you you do get bonus points for that. All right, so let's they don't see. count for actual they, no, points. I don't but <laughs> just bonus points. Just some brownie points. They're, they're just like to show uh, off. Uh, Which one? Like, do any of those sound was, Australian to you at all? What was the first one? Too many cooks. Too many cooks. That one's out. Or he may have been a chef. <laughs> or B, home and away, uh, where you know he travels. <laughs> away he comes back he, he goes he starts out at home <laughs> then he goes away um, he's in a traveling baseball team an intramural softball team right right um, see point place point place kind of sounds like point break a little bit and that's uh, that's where I'm trying to decide was that just a was that just a like oh he calls him point break in the movies I, I don't know he came up with point I, place I know that he or calls him that trying to psych me out I was you know I was watching Ragnarok the other day and he's like damn you stock one break <laughs> to activate the squid jet or D everlasting endings <laughs> everlasting endings <laughs> This is just a horrible. It's question. just it's just a guess. Bro. It, it, <laughs> it's it's going to be purely a guess. And normally I would want to guess C because C is the default for if you don't know. I know you know that though. But point place Oops. sounds too much like point break. Yeah, it does. And I feel like that one's made up. <laughs> um, it might be. I'm going too many cooks. Why not too many? Too cooks? many cooks. Too many cooks. Just <laughs> lost, love it out there. I'm no. so sorry. It was Home and Away. Home and Away. It was the there was a Far and Away movie. That yes, was, with Tom Cruise and, yeah. and Nicole Kidman. That's where they met. That's right. I'm sorry, man. I, you know, I, I'm two and two. As funny as it's like, I know how what a student of IMDb you are. I thought maybe you would have nailed that one. That that, but that would have been an impressive feat. I would I would have really been good if I got that. But it, I, it didn't. I I thought you could have gotten that. I really did. <clears throat> and if you didn't know it, I thought maybe hearing it in the multiple choice, you would have been like, ah, "I got you, son of a bitch." Okay, so <sighs> you're 500 right now. 500. Bad 500. <laughs> so we're going on to five. Watch me just miss the next six. Like, <laughs> you got, you got a, such a wonderful. You start. got two right. Well, and one of them was a guess. Black Widow. Mm-hmm. All right. Scarlett Johansson has been a voice actor in movies such as Sing. Isle of Dogs, Jungle Book, and the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Name the live action movie she lent her voice to. Oh, and there's no options, right? There's no options. You okay. just gotta know it. It's a good thing that uh, that I, I know it. Oh because Spike Jones directed this movie. Oh, okay. With Joaquin Phoenix. Showing off big time now. Let's just hear it. Her. I love that movie. That's so good. And it she wasn't even the original choice for that. Like, uh, what was the actress that they were originally it was going to be? It was somebody else. But like, Scarlett Johansson is like such a good voice. She, I think with that, I mean, you can't know without, I mean, having watched it with another voice, it would be like, what would Back to the Future have been like if Eric Stoltz had been? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. You're like, you could kind of guess. But I like, mean, there's good voices out there. But yeah. Scarlett Johansson's just, voice is just I think that's voices. part of why that movie was as good as it was. That was a really good voice. movie. And well done. You knew the director yes. and everything. Did you know the year? I don't know it, so no, I was <laughs> No, I don't. It was just a few years ago. Does, does this thing work? Alexa. Alexa, are you on? I don't. I guess not. I'm still I listening. Plugged my, I plugged my Alexa up over here. I didn't know if it would actually She's listening. Be listening. She's just not going to work. She's just recording everything. She's recording what it is. So you're three, you're three and two, baby. Oh, yeah. Three, three out and of, two. Three out of five. Damn straight. Uh, okay. Nick Fury. Sam Jackson. That's right. With 192 acting <laughs> credits on IMDb. A lot. Oh, good. This I be thought simple. about that being the question, but no. Name every movie Quentin Tarantino directed. Wait, I'm sorry. I, I like didn't write this sentence. Name every Quentin Tarantino directed movie Samuel L. Jackson was in. 
<laughs> I've had a few drinks. Okay, well, he's. I know Tarantino's directed nine movies. Well, ten now, right? No, 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 nine. Nine. Yes, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're Once right. upon a time was nine. He's just said that ten would be his yes. cutoff. And he's been in. Uh, I'm not going to give it away, but he's been in a lot of them, right? I, he wasn't. <sighs> and these aren't produced or anything. These are like just Tarantino directed movies. Can you name them all? I don't even know if I could name all nine of his movies that he directed. No, 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 no. Just the yeah, just the ones that even, Sam Jackson. I'm, I'm, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm even just trying. I was like, okay, I know Sam Jackson in Hateful Eight. I yes, know he's he was. In Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Um, two more. Two more. Okay. Two more. I'm gonna go ahead and give you that. Two more. Um, now I'm trying to think what else. So people can play along at home. Um, or maybe the people at home have already said them all. I don't think he was in either of the Kill Bill movies. But I only watched the first one and I hated it, so I didn't watch the <laughs> second one. I hope that he doesn't make a third Kill Bill movie as his final movie. That would be unfortunate. It would be. Uh, Although some people would disagree, I guess. Uh, he a wasn't. Lot of, a lot of fans of Kill Bill. He wasn't in Reservoir Dogs, to the best of my knowledge. His but first it's film. Been a long time since I've seen that. That's right. You never know with Sam Jackson. Did <sighs> Tarantino didn't direct True Romance, did he? I think he just produced. He, one. yeah, I, well, I think he was was he the writer? Or, uh, so yeah, he had some. He, he was involved. he was involved, but yeah, yeah, he, he didn't direct. Directed. He didn't direct. Um, it. And I don't even know if Sam Jackson was in that, was he? I don't think so. There were a lot of names in it, but I was like, yeah. I don't think he was yeah, in yeah. that. Uh, Inglorious Bastards. I don't think there was Sam Jackson in that. Probably not. Um, I don't know. I can't. I'm I'm looking at the answer, so I kind of know, but. I but you don't want to give it I away. I don't want to just tell you. <laughs> You're really blowing through them. There's, but can you actually name the other? You gotta, you gotta name them to get credit that, yeah, for that's, it. That's, that's what I'm. I'm like, okay. I kind of. I'm like, I'm aware of Quentin Tarantino, but I'm like, I don't even know what he's done in the last few years. And for the third time, I have to reset the question Son music. <laughs> This is, this is no, no, this is compelling, this is man. This is really good. I'm, I'm I appreciate you giving out. all of your allotted time. Um, and now I'm just trying to think of Sam Jackson movies. Oh, you See. should just try to stick to Quentin Tarantino movies. Jumper. He wasn't Sam. I don't think uh, <laughs> Quentin Tarantino, Tarantino directed Jumper. It would have been better if he had. It would have been a lot better. Because yeah. he probably wouldn't have had Hayden Christensen in it. No. Um, no definitely not. I'm trying to... What, like, what else did Tarantino... What is... I mean, if the people are watching home, they're like, he directed these movies, you, you dunce. freaking Cinemaster moron. <laughs> uh, what other Sam? I tell you, my Cinemaster heart is breaking right now. <laughs> uh, so there's two more Tarantino Two more, movies. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I think you've named all but like three. And two of them are <laughs> two Sam words, yeah. Jackson Tarantino uh, movies. Um... <laughs> Oh, I don't. I probably have to sit here for a long time to pull this out. So I'm going to say Black Snake, Moan, and the Spirit. Those are the other two, right? Oh, That's yes. No, I got no. It. I'm sorry. Oh. That was an incorrect music. Damn incorrect it. music. Okay. So what if I said, when you got to kill every last motherfucker in the room except no substitutes? Is it the live action Cinderella? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no. The other two movies you couldn't think of were Jackie Brown. Oh, Jackie Brown. And Django Unchained. Oh, yes. Oh, no. You're, no, you're two and three. three, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> now you're clawing back to get to 500. Oof. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right. Ant Man. Ant Man. What are the names? Paul Rudd gave his testicles in the 2003 comedy Anchorman. <laughs> Bonus points if you know like the testicles names like the left and the right testicle. <laughs> Such a quotable movie. So many good Paul Rudd quotes. Dr. Kenneth Noisewater. Do you know which testicle that was? Um, I'm going to go left. 
No, but it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> what um, was the left testicle's name? <laughs> Not as memorable as Dr. Kenneth Noisewater. <laughs> yeah, that's right, folks. I pulled Dr. Kenneth Noisewater out on this one. But I might still miss this. <laughs> I love this, man. I love this. We called his penis the octagon. <laughs> but that doesn't give me anything either. No. Well, I, it, it gives you brownie points. I got two thirds of this of his genitalia here, and I'm reaching for the third. Um, He's in the hot tub. He's showing off the gun. He's like, I know what I know what you're thinking. And yes, I do have names for my testes. James Westfall. Oh yeah! <laughs> Did that help you out? Leading you up to that, I was. Like, I, it was the, the name James kept going. James. James oh James, man, you James. pulled that out. God. That, that was like bottom of the ninth. Two, Huzzah! That was like two strikes. And you, you've been, you were fouling like every pitch off. You Ooh, nailed it. Got Back that. up to five hundred. Pulled it well out done, there. sir. Well done. Yes. Okay. The Falcon. Name the famous '90s rapper. Played by Anthony Mackie in the 2009 biopic Notorious. It's multiple choice. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I know Cause, I know you know your 90s rappers. Because I uh, I might have missed that movie. <laughs> oddly enough. Well, let's see if you can put it together. Was it A. Tupac Shakur? B. Warren G. C, Nate Dog, or D, MC Hammer? I'm going to go ahead and discount MC Hammer from the, the, the pack. I feel like he might. Why? Because <laughs> I, feel, I feel like uh, by the time that movie came out and all of that was happening, uh, MC was, all right, all right, he was all headed right. in a different Fine. direction. Fine. He's a 90s rapper, though. He's a 90s He's rapper. He's a 90s rapper, um, though. He does qualify to make the list. He does. He does. All right. All right. So I will, I'll grant you that. But you got um, you got to got the other three, though. <sighs> can you even imagine what the other people look like? Well, I mean, I know you know what Tupac looks like. Can yeah. You, can you? Uh, and Nate and Dog Nate, and Nate Warren Dogg, G. I, like, Nate Dog, I'll do. You I'm hear him in your head. I'm trying to. Oh, I know. I know what Nate Dog looks like. I'm trying to do what Warren because Nate Dog is who I'm leaning towards because of the look. I feel like. Oh, okay. I feel like Anthony because, like, there's a part of me that thinks like, okay, did they cast him as Tupac because yeah. he was, he what? I mean, when did this movie come out again? 2009. 2009. So he was. He'd been in some. He'd stuff. been in a few things. I think. Yeah. Well, he was in. in he was in the Hurt Locker at least. At this yeah. Point. I, I was I was hoping that you were. But he wasn't the Falcon. When you were talking about rappers, I was hoping you were gonna go with Eight Mile. I was going, oh, Papa Doc. Okay, I got that. <laughs> that I thought of that, but but no, I we did, decided I to swerved, do something different. I swerved to Death Row Records. Is what um, I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm Nate Dog was C. Yeah, I don't know this. Yeah, Nate Dog was what I was leaning towards. Yeah, so I'm gonna use that as as the. As the reasoning behind my answer, right or wrong. So trusty C, and you are already thinking Nate Dog. I'm I'm going Nate Dog. You wouldn't know to look at him, but he was too (laughs) poshcore. Bastards. (laughs) Sorry, you're that you're you're back one under five hundred again. But you got two. You got two left to pull out a winning record. You can if you nail these two, you'll have a winning record. You ready? How? Which ones? How? I, so there was eight. <laughs> yeah, you got eight. No wait. So yeah. Uh, what am I, I, I'm. Am I? I'm four and four. I Are think. you four and four? Let's see. You got the first. Because I got the first one, two. Then I got, got her, her. And then I got the the. And, oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Four and four. You're if four I if four. I get the next two, if I get this one, I'm batting five hundred. You're already batting five. I'm already batting five hundred. I have to get at least one of these to hit five hundred overall to ensure you're batting five. If I get two. Then I'll have you know I'll be doing better. It, than but five honestly, I'm like putting this this quiz together, and I'm thinking Adam's definitely going to get six of these. I think. Yeah. Well, then an hour. But I. These but the way two. you started out, man, you really had I me going strong, and then you started I out really fell, strong. I faltered. Doctor Strange. Not well. Yeah, he was. He, was he an Avenger? Technically, I don't think so. Was he or was he? Um. 
Yeah. He was in the Avengers Endgame. That's yes. all that matters. Okay. Okay. What was the name of the dragon Benedict Cumberbatch voiced in the film adaptation of the J.R. Tolkien? To J.R. Tolkien, Tolkien book, The Hobbit. I know I was going to get it out there. Um, there was a dragon in the book, The Hobbit. Yes. What was his name? Uh, here, here's the thing about it. Um, I hated the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> well, this is The Hobbit, though. Uh, so I didn't watch The Hobbit. <laughs> any of them. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Fortunately, that doesn't preclude me from knowing the answer. Oh, okay, because you, you were a, there was a lover an an, of n- trivia. There was an animated one as well, which I remember watching as a kid. That's true. Um, and That's I know true. I know there's some, some controversy. Controversy, good. Uh, over how to pronounce the dragon's name. Some oh, people pronounce it one way. This. Some people pronounce I'm it I'm curious to know how you're going to pronounce it. Uh, I'm going to go Smaug. S-M-A-U-G. I, too, would pronounce it Smaug. <laughs> That feels the right way to me. Yeah. Nice. Nicely done. All right. So I at least hit five. I I can hold my head somewhat. I knowing you, I I have, I I feel like you're going to do this. I think you're going to nail this last one, but I'm already going to tell you it's a know the answer question. Good. 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 (sighs) Hawkeye. Everybody's favorite Avenger. <laughs> Wait a minute. Jeremy I totally Renner. screwed that up. <laughs> Why'd I do that? Okay, I'm gonna have to re rearrange this. Okay. okay. What was the name of the movie that Jeremy Renner starred in? It was his feature film debut. I pulled it, I saved it. I saved it. <sighs> what was his feature film debut? And you knew Chris Hemsworth. I did. Yeah. That was actually because I read it today. I wouldn't have known it otherwise. It just... <laughs> this is why we don't we don't let each other know what the topic's going to be. Yeah, because we would study it. <laughs> I probably still wouldn't have studied. I didn't in high school or college. <laughs> we wouldn't have so, studied it. No, no we, we, just... we wouldn't have taken our – we didn't take our grades in college seriously. We're going to no. take our grades in this seriously. Although it is about movies. I don't take a lot seriously. It's more important than college. Um, it's, a, it's a movie education. Do I'm gonna give you the year. Okay. I was actually gonna ask for that. 1995. Son of a <laughs> <laughs> Well, then it's not what I was thinking. I wanna give you one more clue. Okay. Because I'm feeling generous. And this has been a tough, tough quiz. It was a national lampoon movie. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Had you not given me that, yeah, I would have had no idea. That's okay. You're um, not. You're nice. You deserve I, it. I hope. I hope. I, now that I, I'm thinking this, I'm like, okay. I really hope I didn't just screw myself <laughs> thinking that I know what the answer is. But I'm. I'm going senior trip. Was it senior trip? Do you know his name? In the movie? Yeah. No. Okay. It's been too long. I would have been impressed if you did. You're correct. It was oh. senior trip. I, I, f- I forget the name, but it was like a weird, he was like, he had like long hair and he yeah. was kind of a doof- doofus yeah. in the movie. Or well, he was like the main guy, wasn't he? he really? Yeah, because him and then I think the the fat guy from yeah. uh, um, Problem Child 2, I want to say was. He had a thing for b- blonde Asians yeah. in the movie, I remember. It's like all I remember. And Tommy Chong drove the bus. Yep. I remember that too. Good job, man. Good job. You got six out of 10. Woo, man, that is rough. But you did great. <laughs> Were you expecting that at all? <laughs> all right, it's my turn I, to sit I, and squirm now. Well, I, I wish, I wish, I because what here's so here's oh. um, um here's here's what I ended up uh, doing. Okay. Um, so when you you texted me, you said it was a double theme. Yeah, I, I got the double, double theme. theme. Yeah, yeah. Um, I double dipped on the for theme. for some reason the, the idea of two stuck out in my head. Okay. Um. Even though mine only has a singular theme, yeah, um, uh, it was inspired by a two. So, and okay, two out of three ain't bad. The yeah. meatloaf song. So, okay. um, so, these are all meatloaf questions. Every one of them is a meatloaf God related. Damn it! The dish, not even the actor. But they're all. Sc- <laughs> just, I need you to Films name that meatloaf all was ten featured ingredients. 
Oh, An Ecuadorian yeah. meatloaf. Ecuadorian meatloaf. God, if you just and none said of them are meat. Persian meatloaf. One of them is loaf. It. One of them is loaf. You tell me when to go, and I'll hit the music. <clears throat> so the so here's here's the theme. Okay, okay, we got to reveal it, the it theme. Is, it is two out of three ain't bad. Each at what I've done is I've compiled ten actors. Yeah. who were in? Uh, I think one of them was in four movies. Uh, but each of these actors was in three movies that came out in 2019. And all I need from you is two of the three, because two out of three ain't bad. One actor, I think actress, I think she had four. Um, so I have to pick just two, two, two movies they were in. Okay. And they were and they were released in 2019. Yeah. Here. Oh. This this was. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I, I'll I'll give you I'll give you for example because okay, I ended example. up not using this one. I was going to use it as a bonus point. Okay. So I get to try <clears> and guess <throat> the example. So the the example Jason Clark. He was in three movies in 2019. Can you name two of them? Two of the three. Two out of three. Pet Cemetery and Terminator Genesis. Uh, The other two were Serenity with Matthew McConaughey and Anne uh, Hathaway, and The Aftermath with Alexander Skarsgård and. Good thing I didn't see either either of those other two. Um, Yeah, they. uh, The Aftermath was not bad. Serenity totally sucked. I want to see Serenity though. There was an episode of How Did This Get Made, and it sounded pretty hilarious. It's. It feels like it was an interesting concept going into it, um, but then, like when the reveal happens, you're like, "This is no, like it's too weird now." Okay. So that's just how I read it. It's, but Jason uh, Clark, hello. I mean, are you not kind of impressed? I mean, he's not like he's like a no, well, he's not like uh, yes. a big actor. No, he's not. And that's, All right. Some of these, like I try, I didn't want to go like totally super, like oh, you've never heard of these. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank so you. I was like, some some of them, like they would be. Um, some of them might be a little bit off the beaten path, but I, I wanted to try and I was like, okay, okay, these are all like actors you would know. Okay. Um, and uh, most of the movies I would say are, are big enough that should have been on some kind of radar. So, okay. So these aren't movies that were released, you know. No, these aren't like all indie BBC films. BBC exclusive. Like, you know? Oh, this one was released in Iceland. Do you all know Lifetime it? movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Shit. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Let's All go. Right, here comes the music. All right. So your first, your first actor. He was in three movies in 2019. Oh, shit. And I saw all three of them. Um, Dennis Quaid. <sighs> I feel a little bit bad that I didn't do like any multiple choice stuff. I was just like, oh, name the movies. Uh, I was hoping because you'd been going over movies le- as of late that you some of these might have just gotten yeah like yes, osmosis into the brain. Midway, yes, which I haven't seen but I want to see. A dog's journey. That is correct. Woo! You've gotten two right off the bat. Boom! Look at that. I haven't seen either one of those, so like, but I knew they, I knew that he was in them. So I'm aware of movies and yes. the actors that they're in those movies, even if I have not seen them. The third one was The Intruder. Oh, I thought that didn't come out until 2020. No, it was the beginning. Uh, it came out at the beginning. Of, okay, okay, okay. It's a, and it's actually the, after, because I watched it right after watching A Dog's Journey, mm-hmm. where he's a really good guy, like yeah. a kindly old farmer. A kindly old farmer. That's Dennis Quaid. And then in The Intruder, he's a creepy old stalker. And I like, would rather oh. watch him as a creepy old stalker. He's, he's Cause creepy. Because he, he creepily stalks younger women. He's, Apparently, <laughs> he, he he Megan Good. He stalked Megan Good, and it was really. But creepy. you know what? Good on him. Yes, way it's to fine. Go. It's don't be ageist. Yeah, I'm one for one. You are one for one. Woo. Okay, and this, it's not like people are putting Dennis Quaid in a lot of stuff. No, he's anymore. No, Dennis know? Quaid is not like he's a he's a big enough name actor that you would know who he is, right? But he's he's a little bit past his prime, I would say, in some respects. Absolutely. So, but still looks fantastic. That's a good. You got a good. He's doing here. better than Randy Quaid. Yes, Randy Quaid <laughs> is just crazy. <laughs> If you don't follow Randy Quaid on Twitter, I highly recommend it just for his videos. Yeah. They're just crazy. He's got a giant I, beard. I would like to see a YouTube series with him. Oh, my gosh. For sure. Just take all his videos and mash them together. Ready to go? All right. Number two. Question number two. I, th- I think this this one will be a little bit more of a softball for you. Okay. Um, because I, I know two of them that I, yeah, I think you'll be. So number two, Jesse Eisenberg. Okay. How many movies has he been in this year? He was in three. Three. 
Well, Zombie Land 2 double tap. Yes. Obviously. And the I know another one, but I'm trying to remember the name of the damn movie. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad with names, Adam, and this is such a me topic for you to do to me. <laughs> I'm so bad. Uh, I'll probably be lenient. I, I'll give you. I'll give you a hint on the one I don't think you're thinking of. Okay. It was one of the movies I was looking forward to at one point in one of our podcasts in 2019. Yeah, I don't remember the name of it, but it, they were like trying to gain, trying to gain the system, get a, uh, getting quicker to to uh, to, to. I guess uh, it had Salma Hayek in it. Yes, it did. <laughs> but that's not. I'm thinking of the one that's like Napoleon Dynamite yes. in Fight Club. That's the one I... Th- Is it The Art of Fighting? The Art of Self-Defense. Oh, I will give it to you. I will okay. give it to you. I okay. Give it to you. Thank you. You know I need a handicap. Yes. <laughs> and the third was The Hummingbird Project. Okay, okay. That's that's a tricky name to remember. I actually own all three of those. That was The Hummingbird Project. Was it okay? I enjoyed it. Okay. Didn't quite crack the top 10, but I thought it was a good story. And Coming soon, our totally, 2019 yes. best of top 10 list. Yes, that's on the next it. episode. Look for it. <sighs> Two, two for two. Two for two. Two for two. You're All right. two for two. You were two for two also. I was. And then I just. Yep. <laughs> but you still went six Took out of ten. Took a dump on it. Six out of ten, so though. As they say. All right. All right. As they say. <laughs> as they say. Oh. Okay. This, okay. this actress was in four movies. Okay. Four. Okay. Um, so I have two actresses that were in four movies. Okay. More um, movies to pick from. Rebel Wilson. I think she's so funny. She is. I really like Rebel Wilson. Okay, Jojo Rabbit. Okay, I'm going to try and think of the other. Because one, again, I know the movie, but can I think of the name? Um, Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson. And Pitch Perfect 2 was several years ago, not 2019. <laughs> I'm like, was she in a Pitch Perfect perfect movie? Okay. Was she not in 3? She was in 3. Oh, okay, okay. I just went with 2 because I thought it was funnier, knowing there is a third. Mm. How out of touch I would seem in that. Gotcha. She's so funny. <laughs> uh, what, what are some other Rebel Wilson movies? She stands out. She stands out so much. She's so unique. There's not. There's nobody like Rebel Wilson. It's just her. And her She's so Australian charmingly. Self. You know, I saw Bridesmaids the other day, and she's. I think that was the first thing I ever saw her in. And she's. She was so cute in that. Okay. So the movie that I know she was in was the movie with Anne Hathaway that was the Dirty Rotten Scoundrels remake. What was it called? Nothing but trouble. <laughs> It, it had a similar title to a movie with Jennifer Lopez and Cardi B. Mm. That one came out later in the year. They have similar Dancers titles. who take their clothes off. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's like one word. It's one word. Uh, I can't. I can't think of it. Maybe, maybe I'll get half credit. There's, there's two. She was in two other movies too. I can't think of those either. Okay. I can't think of those either. The, the one, the one you were thinking of is the hustle. Ah, so I guess, I guess I don't get that. And the, the other two movies she was in, isn't it romantic? I haven't seen that one. Um, which is uh, kind of a spoof on romance rom coms. Yes. Adam Devine also was in that one. And then it's pretty funny. I like it. Cats. She was in Cats. Of course, Cats. Everyone saw Cats, right? Oh, my right? God. You loved it. You saw it three times in theater today. Number one on my list. Spoiler yes, alert. Cats. Oh. Okay, I'm, th- I'm three. I'm two and one. I'm two and one. All right. Okay. <clears throat> but it's it's my own damn fault for not knowing these names. It's all right. It's not, all even, right. not even close, though. Couldn't this even, see, give me, couldn't see, even be nice. This is, this is where... Because it, it, that's that's one of those things that's hard for me when I'm coming up with these. Is like I don't <sighs> want it to just be too easy because I take a lot of movie quizzes. Yeah, and I was like I don't want it to just be too easy. Yeah, yeah. Everybody gets nine out of everybody gets like a perfect score on the Facebook movie. Yeah, quizzes. they're like, hey, could you name this movie from one screenshot? It's like, well, that's the Ghostbusters 
<laughs> screenshot. That's Ferris Bueller. It's a picture of Ferris Bueller's like, face. <laughs> this is just the movie cover, and they haven't even hidden the title of the movie. Like, yes, I can name that. It's Ghost. Um, Things are heating up. All right, so this one, this one, I think, I think you, I think you'll get it. I, I, I got Bartman T-shirt today. Oh, very isn't nice. That, isn't that nice? I'm what are you, what are you what are you wearing today? Deadpool. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. Okay. All right. Here All right. Actor Next. number actor number four. Four. Yeah. Sam Rockwell. I like Sam Rockwell. Okay. He was in three films this year. Okay. Well, I only saw two of them. Once again, Jojo Rabbit. Yes. Shit. One was earlier in the year, and one was not too long ago. Sam Rockwell, Sam Rockwell, Sam Rockwell, Sam Rockwell. Well, that one coming out with Matthew McConaughey came out. He just hasn't come out yet. Not yet. He's, uh, and he's not in that either, anyway. So, like, no. why would I? Even bring no, he's not, he's not in that movie. <laughs> but he would be really good in that movie. <laughs> I don't know why I would have thought of that. Oh, Christ, Sam Rockwell. What the hell have you been up to? What the hell have you been up to? Okay, well, though, these are probably dramas. I could see him being a... Because Jojo Rabbit was pretty pretty much a comedy. Yes. Parts, parts of it that I saw, anyway. Uh, I, I hear it has a dramatic turn. You should have held on for one more day. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Oh, gosh, Sam Rockwell. No relation, as far as I'm uh, aware of, to Norman Rockwell, which doesn't help you at all. Wouldn't it be great if it did, and it like triggered something? I was like, oh, like I always associated all no- like Sam Rockwell movies yes. with the Norman Rockwell, and like it like like triggered that <laughs> node, that little link that I needed. <sighs> Marriage story. I don't know. I. <laughs> He played Adam Driver in that movie. <laughs> well, they you are a correct. Sporting gas. Uh, the the other two movies: you, Richard Jewell, okay, and Best of Enemies. With I didn't see either one of those. Jerry P. Henson, I think is her name. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, so I got the big movie that yes. he was in that everybody yes. would have known. Okay, I'm, I'm down to two and two. It's just like a strikingly similar pattern we're seeing. We're that's why we're cinema masters. That's right. That's right. Next question, number five. Number five. Everyone's favorite, Keanu Reeves. It'd be funny if I got one but couldn't remember John Wick 3. (laughs) What was that one he was in where he plays a guy with a gun? Yeah. The one with the dogs and he was like really good at fighting. Really good at fighting. See, I know he was in... I, well, I didn't see it. I'll tell you that much. Whatever else it was, one of them you did. One I of them did. I know you did. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta focus and refocus. Focus, focus, focus. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Oh, Toy Story Four. There you go. Ah, oh, there you go. Thank you. Nailed thank it. You. Oh, thank you so much for that clue. What was the other one? Replicas. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see that. It was not great. Apparently, according to the trivia on it, Nicolas Cage passed on it. What was the character? It was something Kaboom. Duke Kaboom. Duke Kaboom. That's right. Canada's greatest. <laughs> he was man. so great in that. Oh, he was that. fantastic. Forgot about that. Okay, so I'm three, three, yes. three and two. Three, three and, and two. two. Woo, back over five hundred. Okay. All right. Uh, this one, I, th- I think you get this one too. Okay. Okay. Um, you have so much faith in me. It should, I do. It's misplaced. Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay. Avengers Endgame. Correct. 1917. Correct. Woo! Yes! <laughs> well, you know I just saw that recently. I did. Okay. The third one was uh, The Current War, oh. which was actually filmed in 2017, but wasn't released until 2019. <laughs> did you see that? I didn't. I would like okay. to, though. Okay. Yeah, that was about Tesla and... And Edison. Edison guess, and... and uh, uh, who was the third? Michael Shannon played Well, Michael Shannon guy. was... Uh, he played the third guy, the... Westinghouse? Yeah, Westinghouse. Westinghouse, okay. Yes. Woo! Okay. Look at that. Hey! That was a name. I know my Even better. old-timey entrepreneurs. Yes! <laughs> okay. Four, I'm four and two, man. This yes. is looking, looking up. You're doing looking good up. 
Okay. This this one this one might be a little bit of a curveball. Okay. All right. I well, think. naturally you gotta you gotta like throw me a luck a little bit. You know I can't lay off the curves. All I'm right. Swinging a miss kind of guy. Gerard Butler. <sighs> Gerard Butler. <laughs> Uh, man, I can't even think of the name of the one that I should know. <laughs> Some shit has fallen. <laughs> that is the teaser. That's the teaser for this. That is the teaser. That's what's going on Facebook. Oh, yes. If yes. you're watching this before this episode comes out, you're watching me on Facebook right now. That, which means I, w- I said something really dumb. No, you said something phenomenal. You said this is the catching thing that will get people. I don't even know the name of the one that I'm supposed to know. You better, you guys better watch. Yes. Okay, but back to business. I'm, sh- I'm still like, because some shit has fallen. <laughs> I'm giving you that one. You get that one. Yes. Boom. It was yes. an- Angel has fallen, but Angel has fallen. Of which course. I still think was a stupid name is because he's no because I'm like it's got to be someplace, right? Well, because he was his guardian angel. Oh, okay. Angel has fallen. It's like, oh, well, that's, that's a right. silly title. There was, but it was, there was a, there was, they set it up to look like he betrayed the president, yes. right? Very similar to Taken 3. I guess when you're doing a trilogy of movies that people don't necessarily want a trilogy of, the third one is like, oh, wait a minute, we're after him at this time. So that means he was in some shitty rom-com or was like a voice actor or something in the, in the uh, possibly the other movies. Because, I mean, you know, One like, of them, he was a voice actor, yes. Okay. All right. And it's a character that he's played before. So it's a sequel. Hmm. It was early in the year. How to Train Your Dragon 3? That is correct. <laughs> That's right. He played the dad. He was stoic. Ah, yes. I feel like I shouldn't even get that one. I'm giving it to you. Thank you. <laughs> the third one was uh, The Vanishing. The Vanishing. Which is kind of, it was kind of an interesting story. I started it once and it didn't hold my attention. Then I went back to was watch Was that the it. Jackie Chan movie? Uh, no, this is uh, three guys go to Mana Lighthouse. It's based on a true story. They go to Mana Lighthouse and they find some gold. And the light goes out so the ships can't see anymore. These the two vanish at sea. These two guys, all three of the guys who were there to man the lighthouse vanished. And no one to this day knows. And this was like, I don't know, like a hundred years ago. Oh, shit. I might have to check that out. <clears throat> I really like stories like that. It was on Amazon Prime. I think that's where I watched it. Okay. So, yes. Shout out. So, it wasn't too, wasn't too bad? It wasn't too bad. I mean, who like, were the other two lighthouse keeper guys? Um, one was a guy whose name I don't remember, but I've seen him in places. And the other one was a younger guy whose name I don't remember that I don't think I'd seen before. I saw a movie that came out this year. It was it featured a lighthouse. The name of the movie, though, I can't think of the name of the movie. Uh, lamp, lamp, a light, li- a, li- a light, a light in the lamp, light in the darkness, light, <laughs> light the way, whatever, something. Maybe somebody at home it had knows. Batman in it. I think it did have Batman in it. And you know what? I don't have any more faith in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing when you watch robert pattinson in a movie you're like oh he's not a good actor oh shit. he should not be doing oh this. no why warner brothers we should cast him as probably one of our most iconic characters then yeah that seems like oh well, yeah because you know like warner brothers doesn't give Ooh. a shit about batman or anything you know you should do with that when you put a really crappy actor in as one of their most iconic characters pad it with a lot of villains because oh, it worked well, really of well with suicide squad it really did and it worked really well in uh batman and robin yes people love that movie Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Get Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get him back. Mr. Freeze. Batman fans love Reprise that role. Okay. So what what am I? Five and two now? I think so. Holy shit. Yeah, you're doing quite well here. I have a chance to to equal you and possibly best you. I I think you're going to. Oh my gosh. This is so great. This this one, this one's a little this one's more of a curve than even the last one. Oh no. Okay. But I I I still think you could get it. Maybe with some really good hints. (laughs) <laughs> this is this is one of my favorite SNL alum of all time, and he's rather recent. Jason Sudeikis. You know he played one of the stormtroopers in The Mandalorian. He did hitting up hitting poor baby Yoda. Him and who was the other? I one? can't. I don't know the other guy. He was funny too. I've though. looked it up a couple times, yes, and I can never remember who the other one was. I wish I'm stalling because I'm thinking of Jason Sudeikis movies. <laughs> one of one of them is one I still want to watch, um, and haven't seen yet. Two of them. I think are 
One of them I know you, I'm pretty sure you've watched, and the other one I think is mainstream enough that you you might have to think about it a little. But I think. Well, Angry Birds too. Okay, that's the mainstream he one. Played Red. Yes. Ugh. I like Jason Sudeikis a lot, but I feel like he's kind of disappeared. A lot. He, he 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 has not. I saw him on a kid's double, like he was on an episode of Double Dare, and he had really, really long hair. He looked like a, he looked like a old West, like I don't know, man. He looked, wow. he looked like, like he was in auditioning to be in the movie Tombstone or something. Ooh. It was, it was crazy. They should get him. We should. He was really Tombstone. greasy and long. Okay. Like you came right from the set. You didn't even wash your hair. You didn't. <laughs> you pulled a Steven Seagal here. <laughs> Except you he's just, not expected. You on just set showed up anywhere. He just yeah. Got to fight people in this. Anybody, anybody need to see any really non-impressive slow motion kicks? I'm gonna fight people on a train. I'm gonna fight people over the last donut. Whoop out! That was not. <laughs> Whoop out! That's a friend's r- right there. Whoop out! Okay, okay. Uh, Jason Sudeikis. Jason Sudeikis. Jason Sudeikis. I know one of these movies was on your list of movies to watch. I think you got to it, but I'm not sure. If you didn't watch it, you won't get it. Yeah. Maybe I didn't. Was he in Booksmart? He was in Booksmart. Oh, yes. <laughs> I didn't see it. He Yes, he was the principal in Booksmart. That's fantastic. Another really good clue that got me in there. Six and two. The, Six the, third, and two. the third one he was in was Driven. It was a uh, story about John DeLorean. Did he have really long, greasy hair in that? He did not. Damn. I'm, I'm anxious to see what movie so. this is going to be. I haven't seen it yet. I want to see, see that, though. Yes. I want to see that, that because I'm fascinated with the DeLorean. The, uh, I can tell you that uh, the one with Alec Baldwin, which was kind of a doc, an actual documentary where they had actors re uh, do dramatizations of some dramatizations of okay so it was interesting because it was like one part documentary one part acting hmm. so it was it was interesting in that okay. respect because they had like they were acting like they would show you like security footage of stuff or like you know did they at all go into like the invention of the flux capacitor uh they left a lot of the science out Stupid. I think of proprietary reasons, so and they didn't stupid. want people traveling through time. Well, they don't. That that's true. They don't want to be held responsible. Like, oh, great! If we tell people, you can just travel screw through the time, up everything. You know, tear a riff in the space and time continuum. I mean, see what it did on Rick and Morty with the snakes. That's probably why De- DeLorean went bankrupt. Yeah. Anyway, he knew too much. He knew too much. <laughs> All right, six. I'm six and two. I think. I think you're. S- set that puts you seven and two. Holy shit! Is this the final one? You got two more. Okay. 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 Or six, I guess that does make you six and two. Math, not I mean, my math, strong suit not today. my strong suit either, right? All right, I got the last. We got one two. Wrong. We got two more. I'm like question number nine. You're four and two. Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, we're we're just men. <laughs> I'm just a man. I'm just a stupid shaven ape. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Number nine. I love doing this. Number nine. Number nine for me. Florence Pugh. I think that's how you say her last name. P U G H. Pug. <laughs> I don't, that, that's that, how I've always that feels, said it. That feels a little forced. That's how I've always said it. But Pugh. It's not a great last name. Well, uh, she was in Midsummer. Yes, she was. <sighs> Which I heard you really, really, really loved. From who? <laughs> From you. <laughs> He's lying. Ron didn't like it. I didn't care for it. But it was too damn weird. It was it's long too. It's a lengthy film. But still in my top ten. Because because <sighs> I, I like I'm weird. I'm kooky like that. He's kooky. I'm a kooky guy. He's creepy and he's kooky. Mysterious <sighs> and spooky. Pew. Jesus Christ. Okay. Was she Jesus Christ? Did by any chance? Uh, in Superstar, yes. That is. <laughs> oh, I can't think of that. Uh, I, I I like her. She seems like she's an up and comer. She is. She's she's not been a lot of stuff, but she's she was an up and comer's twelve, by the way. It there was you a go. Pornography. Oh, I missed the first eleven. It's a porn joke. For you guys. <laughs> Take that to the bank. <laughs> up and comer. C U M M. Oh, see that's a, a, a spe- <laughs> if I had had the spelling, I'd have known. You would have. That would have been a dead giveaway. It's all about the pun. Oh God, pun, 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 pun. Ooh, okay. Um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna just chew on it for a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I, I had to, I had to chew. I had to do a little. You chew did. On. You you cycled through question yes. music a couple times, so that's only fair. I had to, I had to stall quite a bit. It's only fair. Even to then just guess poorly. Flow, flow, Florence, flow, Florence, Florence, flow. Feel the flow. Flow. <laughs> Feel the flow. Doing the bowl dance. Circular. <laughs> You're you're getting it. You're getting it. If for no other reason to get you to say that, I don't know. I give up. The other two, fighting with my family. Ah, damn it! That's one I wanted to see, but I didn't and, get around. And to see Little it. Women. Believe it or not, I didn't see that either. <laughs> I don't believe it. Uh, anyway, I am astounded. Anyway, you could right. you could still you could still best me. You got this. There was one more. Oh, so if I get it wrong, we tie. We tie. If you get it right, get it right. Look, I'm the champion. We've we've inadvertently built up suspense. 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 And and this one. Oh my god! I'm biting she was, my nails. She was in four movies, so we have even more to choose from here. Hit it. Vera Farmiga. She was in four movies. No, oh, no. I always forget her name. <laughs> Vera Farmiga. I okay. own three of them. Okay. That doesn't help you because you don't have a list of the movies I own that you're ready. I think one's Annabelle Comes Home. That is correct. Okay. Vera Farmiga. Vera Farmiga. Is that the only horror movie that she was in? Yes. I don't know if you would. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, you would. Something like, horrifying happened in the You wouldn't movie. label the other one a horror movie, I don't think. One I'm pretty sure you didn't see. I saw it, but I don't think a lot of people saw it. Oh man, you gave me four movies. Okay, because like she she's known, but she's mostly known for these like these James Wan movies. Yep. Man, these man, she was in the Departed. The Departed. 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 That's right, she was. She's from Boston. Oh my gosh. Where America runs on Duncan. And now, thanks to you, I know that her sister was in The Nun. That's true. She's related to someone, another Wanniverse movie. Yes. Vera. External connections to an internal Vera. universe. Vera handbags. Vera, Vera Bradley. Vera Bradley. Vera, Vera Farmiga. Wang Farmiga. at Coles. Farmiga. 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 Oh, Sounds Farmiga. like a game you'd play on Facebook. Farmiga, Farmiga Squares. Farmiga. Could be a dressing for a salad, Farmiga dressing. <laughs> Could you pass the Farmiga? I mean, because Vera, Fa- let's see, Vera Farmiga, not known for her comedies. So, like, I'm thinking probably non comedies. Although, you know, sometimes, like, actors like to, to pop into genres get they don't, wacky, get a little they wacky don't normally sometimes. are known for. <sighs> Does she have sex in any of the other three movies? Is there a oh. sex scene? So that I can at least Google this later and have something to look forward to. <laughs> Two of the other three movies are pretty decent films, pretty I, I, pr- I, in, in my estimation. Just one, one crappy one. Then one of them was, yeah, one of them was kind of like, ah, oh, man, I love here. crappy movies too. I've probably yeah. seen this. I don't, I don't think you've seen that, this one. <laughs> um, you you have as much time as you need. Just keep noodling, noodling. Uh, Worst case scenario, we tie. Yeah, I know. Hit the hit the music again. Hit the music again. I can't. Oh. I, can't I can't think of the other movies. Uh, Godzilla. Oh, monsters. Damn it! Oh, that's right. She was Captive State. I missed that. It was one I wanted and to skin. see, but I didn't get to see it. Skin. It's about a skin yeah. Hit. I saw Godzilla though. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was she, a really n- annoying character. In that she movie. was. She was the. I did not get her motivation. No, at all it was. This. And then there was out of no weird like, redemption story that didn't yeah, make sense. But at the end, or you just like, created conflict yeah. to have a redemption, like an arc. I don't get it. All right. So hey, we, we both went six and four. Can we tied. Nice Look at job, that. man. We are the Cinemasters. That's right. And we that that means we because I've won one, you've won one, and we've tied. I think that's representative of the fact that we that's the level we're on. We are. We're so we're even. Cinemasters. We're we're just we're gonna have to wait until the next trivia junket to see who is the better cinemaster. You no, know we need to do yes. We need to do we need to do a trivia junket with with uh, some of our, our new we've had crossovers recently. If you haven't watched them, you should we check have, out some we, of our crossovers. We have sworn in a couple we've of sworn new, in a couple of there's the there's the white machete and yes. Jason and Jason 4KJ. 4KJ, right. So uh and and you know, Nick would have been 
if he hadn't have been ill, if he didn't fall yes. ill. So anyway, um, Nick, Nick's an OG though. Yeah, he he's just an OG. he doesn't even need to take the oath. No, really. that's not really. No, he doesn't need to because he's grandfathered in. He's grandfathered in. He totally is. Okay. He's an OG big, big yeah, geek guy. That's right. All right. Well, that was fun. Uh, I, I'm sure. It, let us let us know uh, on Twitter on the Twitters. Do you do you use the Twitters? I, sometimes I get on the Twitters. Yeah. Well, what, what's the what's the Cinemaster Twitter? Do you are you still on that? I think maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can follow me on Twitter. At <laughs> I have a Twitter <laughs> at Ron sometimes Avis. Hey, I, I got my name. He's yeah. And and you are Nighthawk Smash. Nighthawk Smash. Nighthawk, Nighthawk Smash. Hey, and you know, like just Big Geek, Big Geek Podcast. I yes. do a lot of posting on at Big Geek Podcast. So uh let let us know if you went twenty for twenty. Yeah. If you went twenty for I'm 20. sure some of you guys out there, maybe you'd like to audition to yes. be a, a Cinemaster. Let us know. Yep. Send us an email at we don't care. Yeah, at, at an email Gmail. address to later be assigned. <laughs> to later be assigned. Just email yes. us there. We'll, email we'll us we'll check, that one. We'll check that in the in the future somehow, I guess. Yes, 1-800-SNAPPLE at gmail.com. You know, we may create a Cinemaster account. And then someone watches this out of con- like out of time context. You know, yes. like they, watch, they found us. And then Stumbled they, they end us. up sending me an email. And they're like, ha ha, you thought you were funny, but here's your email. And here's by the, the way, email. I went 0 for 20. <laughs> Like, oh, I don't actually know a lot about movies. They went twenty for twenty, but you to know spite your ass, I went you're a liar. That was a lot of fun. Though. That was a lot of fun. And be sure to join us for our next episode, which is going to be our top ten. We're each going to have a, t- a list of ten. ten. There, may, will there be overlap? There will there could not? Be. Maybe not. We, we've watched a lot of movies. It's a lot. But we're gonna do. We're gonna reveal our top ten of 2019. Yes. Until next time, though, I've been one of your hosts. We didn't even reveal ourselves. No. At the top of the show, we're secrets. We are secret we're people. Secrets. We're like ninjas. I've been one of your hosts, the host on the on the left, Ron Avis. And I am your host to the north, Adam Peterson. We've been we've been happy to to service you today. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many puns in that. <laughs> Whatever. Yes. You you know yes. the rest. You know the rest. You get it. Come on back. It's our, See it's, us again. It, we love you. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>